Hello, welcome back to Dr. How. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a regeneration effect in Blender. Now I've talked about this before, but there's a few things that I didn't do, uh, didn't talk about last time, so uh, I want to just go through them today. Uh, this is a regeneration of Romana that we're doing, and we're going to do two different particle effects. One is producing a glow from the face, and I'll just switch that one off now so that we can see the other effect, which is there's going to be particles shooting up from the bottom there, uh, near the base of the neck. Uh, so that's we've got two different meshes here that are doing that effect. If I just hit keypad 0 here, we can see what's going on. We've got the an empty image here which is uh, showing the morph. And I'll just turn that particle system off. So you, you can see the morph progress there, but we've actually got two different meshes. We've got a mesh down here, which is emitting particles. I'll just show you that. These particles shoot upwards from the bottom there, from the base of the neck. And the other particle system uh, is around the face. And that's to make the face glow. And it starts emitting particles earlier. Now you'll notice that these particles don't seem to go anywhere, and there's a reason for that. We've turned off gravity. If you have a look at this particle system, um, down the bottom here you can change the values of the various forces and one of the things I've done is I've, I've turned gravity off and that means that the particles won't fall downwards. So that will just light up the face. Uh, we're emitting from the face, uh, so this actually is a is a mesh that I've distorted. Uh, if I hit keypad 0 again you can see the mesh uh, tracks around the face and then I've added a face to that mesh so if we go to edit mode, um, oh, that's the final version there. But you can see that there's a there's a filled in uh, face there, and what that means is that the particles will appear all over that all over that uh, mesh. Now I'll just go back to object mode. So I'll just turn that off. So we can actually see what's going on here. The mesh is uh, is distorting over time. So what what's happened here is that um, I've started with a a circle and then I've distorted that that mesh to to match the face. So we'll actually have this fa the 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 actress's face will glow as these particles appear. Uh, but we've got these keyframes here. These are called shape keys in Blender. Uh, if you hit I, the letter, capital I, uh, you can create these uh, these keyframes, and you can see them down here in the timeline. There's these little yellow lines here, and I've, so I've got two of them: uh, one at the start, and then one at the end here. After I've distorted the mesh, um, I hit I again, and you can see we're going from uh, we're going to 100% this shape here. Um, Starting at 100%, this uh, this other shape here. So we're we're making the mesh distort over time, and that just means that the face glow will um, will match the face well over time. So I'll just go through the um, the particle settings just to show you what's going on. We have a a particle system with with 10,000 uh, particles being emitted. We're starting at frame one and going to frame 120. So this is the, this is the glow. We want the glow to appear uh, for that many frames. Uh, we're emitting from the faces there. Now there's a bunch of other numbers that I've that I've put in here. Um, it's a fluid uh, physics, and there's a bunch of different numbers there. Uh, you can change those numbers, of course. So these are just the numbers that I happen to play with and that seem to work. Um, you get these fluid properties here that you can you can adjust the numbers on. Um, I've taken the material as this yellowy color with a fairly low uh, visibility because these particles are just going to pile up on the face. So we, to, we we want a glow, but we don't want it to obscure the the appearance of the face. So that's why the alpha is quite low there. Uh, and these are halo objects as well. 
And as I said, importantly, the, uh, the gravity has been set to zero. So they don't fall. The other uh, mesh, which is, remember that's down at the base of the neck, has a different particle system. Um, it's using it's also using 10,000 particles but it starts a little bit later so we'll, we'll start with the glow first and then we'll have these particles shooting upwards they get emitted from the face of that mesh um, but they've got Newtonian physics and they have uh, path properties which means that they'll, they'll tend to look uh, like lines a bit more uh, I've set the gravity to zero again so, uh, and there's this force field effect, um, which is uh, pushing them upwards. The material is a more orangey color, and it's a little bit more visible as well. So you'll tend to see that, uh, see, these, see these things shooting up more than you'll see the, the face glow, but um, hopefully you'll see, the, see them both. All right, I'm just going to take you through how to do this um, shape keys thing because it's a bit of a trick. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a new file. Let's hit delete, get rid of that box there. Now we're just going to add a mesh circle. And then I'm just going to zoom in with the mouse there so we can have a look at it. And what we'll do is we'll just go to this data tab have a look at the shape keys. All right, so th this is the tab here that we want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the basis uh, of, of the shape. Um, and if we add key one, that'll just be the same shape. But then if we go somewhere else, so uh, to start off with, we just wanna hit I. So we'll just put the mouse over here and hit I. And that's created a keyframe. So down here, we've, we've now got this little keyframe spot there. And if we go somewhere else, then what we can do is we can distort this mesh. So we're in, if we go to edit mode, uh, we hit A to deselect everything. Then we hit C to circle select something. And hit enter. Then what we can do is hit G to grab those points and change the shape of it and left click now what we can do here is add another keyframe there and that's I've just hit I again so now we've got two keyframes um, but it doesn't seem to move what we need to do is to make it make this value actually change so I think if we go over here and make that value 1.0 what we should get is no and it doesn't change at all okay let me just say we've got the basis we've got that key okay all right so that's a modified version um, we really want that to be value 1.0 over here why did that not change? Oops, 1.0. Hit I, and that doesn't work at all. Well, that's Blender for you. Um, what I did with the other one was I actually made two keyframes. Now, the fact that this one doesn't work is a bit disturbing. We've got the basis, we've got that keyframe. Why does that not work? All right, well, I'll have to re-record this section because clearly there's something I'm, something fundamental I'm missing here. It, it does interpolate. You can see the value interpolating, but the shape is not interpolating. So, ah, that's right. It's this thing. All right, this little button down here, apply shape keys in edit mode, um, lets you see the distortion happening as it goes from 0% that to 100% that. Um, so that's the basic idea. The, as always, there's a little button that you just have to press. Okay, so let me take you in, into KDN Live and show you how I put all this stuff together. So we've got a zoom in to Romana here. 
So that's that first section there. And you can see that what I've done is I've overlapped the glow that happens uh, slightly on that on that motion, just as just at the end of the motion, which helps it look a little bit more natural, rather than just looking like a static uh, image morphing to another image, which is what happens here. We actually overlap some of the um, some of the video action, some of the actual zoom in there, so it just looks a little bit more natural there. The other thing is I've got the audio overlapping a little bit as well, so you start to hear the uh, regeneration sound coming in just as the video is ending. Then you've got the glow, the face, face will start to glow there. And then we've got this morph, uh, which I've generated with GTK Morph. And so now we've got this, uh, the glow, and now we start to see the particles being emitted from the base of the neck. And so we, we end up seeing both of those effects. And we go through and see the, the full regeneration there. I've tail, tail, tailed the, uh, the audio off there. This audio uh, has got a fade in and a fade out of one second each. Uh, I've changed the volume a little bit as well. But this is the important thing, this addition alpha transition. So that's a, that's a transition you actually uh, right click and then you go add transitions. You probably can't see this but there's addition alpha up there. And that creates a bit more of a glow effect. It actually really makes this, uh, this face glow uh, quite well. So that's that's how to put the effect together. Um, so thanks for watching uh, and I'll talk with you next time. Bye.